Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and these are all the new features in Android N. So guys, the first thing would be the notification bundle. So for example, this is my Gmail notification and if I swipe down, okay, nothing's happening. If I swipe with two fingers, I get some additional information like, like the contact name from whom I got the email. On the right, I can see even the profile picture and if I scroll, if I swipe down once again, now I can read the entire mail directly from the notification area. Apart from that, I have two actions, one to archive and one to give a reply. So if I click the reply button, it will immediately take me to the Gmail app to the compose mode. Next we have something called as quick reply. So these are some messages and once again I can simply swipe down to get additional information. Now I can dismiss any one of these messages by simply swiping it completely. So now if I want to quickly reply to a message I can simply swipe down once again with two fingers. Sometimes even single finger works. So now simply click reply and now we can reply to this particular message directly from the notification area. So that's something really nice and something we didn't have earlier. We can change the settings related to the notifications directly from the notification area. So if I simply swipe to the left slightly, I get this gear icon and I can select that and I can change the notification settings for that particular application. Next, if we swipe the status bar slightly, we can see some toggles on the top. So these are the quick toggles and you have an arrow at the right corner of the screen. We can even swipe it down to get the full notification toggles. So we have two pages out of the box and to add or remove these toggles, simply click edit and now you can add new toggles to the page or remove some of them. So these are your quick toggles and these are the five topmost toggles in the first page. This is our new settings page and at the top we get some quick suggestions. Below that we get suggested settings. So for example, if you have not enabled the screen lock for your device, you get the option to set a screen lock and some other suggestions. Then we have our normal settings. As you can see, now we get some additional information about each setting. For example, under Wi-Fi settings, we are getting the name of the Wi-Fi router that we are connected to. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see the total amount of storage used by this phone. We can even check out the battery percentage directly from here. We can check out the average RAM usage or memory usage from this page. So we get all these cool stuff. If you enable the system UI tuner, you get additional options. We no longer have the dark mode. So we can't enable that from the system UI tuner. From the system UI tuner, you can change these settings. Firstly, the status bar. From here, we can enable or disable icons to be shown on the status bar. If you want some kind of an icon showing you if auto rotate is turned on or turned off, you can enable this toggle. At the same, in the same way, we have all these toggles for the status bar. Next, we have the do not disturb mode. Out of the box, these are the default settings. And whenever you press the volume button, you don't see do not disturb options. So if you enable this option, you get the option to enable or disable do not disturb mode right from this page. And if you go to others, we have the option to enable the split screen mode by swiping the overview button. So let me just disable that for now. Now, if you want to enable the split window or multi window, just press and hold the overview button. Now the, for, now the foreground application will be placed at the top and you can choose between different applications to be placed at the bottom. This is a timer. I cannot change the application at the top, but I can change the application at the bottom. So I can simply press the overview button once and switch between apps. If I want to switch these two apps, firstly, I need to come out of the split screen view. And now press the overview once again, open the Gmail app. And now press and hold the overview button and then select the second app. Now let me just turn it off. Now in the system UI tuner, we have a very nice shortcut. So instead of doing a long press of the overview button, we can simply swipe up the overview button. So firstly enable that option. And now when I swipe up from the overview button, I can enable the split screen. To turn it off, you have to again press and hold the overview button. If you double tap the overview button, you will simply switch between your previous app. The next new feature has to do with the Google Keyboard app and this is how it looks. 
they have added few themes and a lot of gestures. I have made a separate video for that so do check it out. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any more doubts, do let me know by commenting below this video and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.